Hello everyone and welcome to the New Tech 3 Play 3P1 Get Started Training. In this video, I'll show you how to configure the outputs of the 3 Play system. So back in the 3 Play interface, on my previous videos, I've only been showing the A output, but you do have a secondary B output to send out different video feeds as well. Now you can link these together by simply clicking link here on your control surface and then selecting the mode you want to go to. And so now I have both my A output and B output sending out the live game. I'm going to go ahead and unlink those. Now on the physical outputs of the 3Play, on the back of the unit, your A output is going to be coming out of your SDI output number one, and your B output is going to be coming out of your SDI output number two. There's two additional hardware outputs for your A and B outputs, and those are going to be on three and four. So your output A is going to come out of SDI outputs one and three, and your B output is going to come out of outputs two and four. Just a quick note on that. Keep in mind that you can still send these feeds out via NDI, which is the easiest way to do it. Let's go ahead and cue this up. So when we're in the middle of a game, you might want to be playing out a highlight reel and queuing up a replay at the same time. So let's go ahead and configure that. So go to my B output and let's select playlist and make sure that I'm on my highlight reel number one. All right. So now let's go ahead and just hit play. And now you'll see that my B output is now playing that highlight reel. But let's go over to A and start to queue up another replay. So let's grab this one here from this angle, and now my replay is ready to go. So as soon as this highlight reel is over, I can now start to play that clip. All right, so go to output A, and boom, here's our replay. Nothing but net, yeah. So not only can you send out the clip list, the playlist, and the live mode out of the outputs coming out of the 3Play, but you can also use the 3Play to publish videos to social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Let's dive in and take a look. Now back in the 3Play interface, there is an option at the very top of the screen for exporting your clips to say either an external media drive or to social media platforms. So we'll click on the gear icon next to export and then you'll see that I have an option here for export media. Let me click on the gear icon for that to give you an idea of what we're looking at. So from here this allows you to then convert these files to different formats when exporting your clips. So you can have them set up to AVI, DVD, send them to mobile devices like an MP4 file, etc., or just send it same as source to whatever destination you want. You can also have an option to add a watermark to these clips as well. Now back in the export media side of things, there are some other options for us to use. So under this dropdown for new preset, I have an option for transcoding these files, also for sending them to either Facebook, an FTP client, LinkedIn, SMTP, Twitter, Vimeo, and YouTube. Now I already have one of these set up for Facebook, so I'll put a checkbox next to that. And if I click on this gear icon here, this allows me to publish both the clips or stills that I've grabbed from my broadcast, and I can also add a watermark from here as well. So now let's go ahead and set this up. I want to make it to where I'm only sending out clips to my Facebook preset. So again, you can do all of this while in the middle of a game. So within the export media side of things, I can either just say, click add here and then grab pieces of content, or I can do that from within the interface. So for example, if I want to grab this highlight reel, for example, I'll select that and we'll right click on it and I can say add to export media. And now if I go up to the top of the screen here, and select export media, now I have my replay ready to go and send that out to Facebook. And I can load this up with as many different things as I want. So if I did export media on this, that's only going to be this particular angle. Or I can right click on the event ID itself and say add to export media. And that'll add all of those angles. And now from here, all I have to do is click export. And now all of those clips are being sent out to that Facebook feed. Now again, you can go through and set this up to be uh, either your export media or even do it to both of them at the same time and just load it up to where you're sending out content all the time within your broadcast. So as you can see, there are multiple ways to get video clips out of the 3Play system, either coming out of your video outputs or publishing to social media. 
Now in the next video, I'll be showing you how to use macros within your 3Play.